Yaman. Hello, my name is Miguel, and today I'm gonna make for you coconut fried chicken. All right, so I'm using a chicken's leg and a chicken's thigh. Visit JamaicaDinners.com for the recipe. Sea salt and onion. Scotch bonnet pepper. I have scotch bonnet pepper or red pepper. Or shredded red pepper. Coconut milk. A cup of coconut milk. And cooking oil for frying. And flour. All purpose flour. Being that I'm not using plenty seasoning, I'm just gonna start with the chicken. So this is a chicken's quarter, a chicken's leg quarters. Leg quarter, cut off the leg. Easiest way to cut the leg is to get between the chicken's thigh and the chicken's leg joint, cut in between the joints. After that, Remove the chicken's leg skin by just ripping it off. If you get it old, you can just rip it all off. But sometimes it tears. So you want to make sure you get off all the skin. Do the same for the chicken's thigh. Remove the chicken's thigh skin. Use your finger. Get between the chicken's thigh bone. And remove clocked blood. Trim off excess fat. Chicken thigh tend to be more mucky than the other chicken's parts so you gotta spend some time on it and clean it properly. Once you do that Add the chicken's parts in a bowl. Add enough water into the bowl. Then drizzle a couple of tablespoons of distilled white vinegar into it. Next, use your finger and wash the chicken's parts properly. Get between the chicken's flesh and bone and wash chicken properly. After that, remove this water and give your chicken a final rinse. It's best if you do this part on the fresh running water. You can put the chicken to run off in colander or just squeeze it to remove excess water. Now, peel and onion. Remember now, the first layer of the onion is the strongest. If you can save it, do so. Only throw it out if it's spoiling. Next, dice or slice onion. And with the other half, get a grinder like this and grind it to puree and add it to the bowl as well. Next, cut half pepper hot pepper. I'm using scotch bonnet pepper but you can use red pepper, chili pepper. Just cut it in half and add it to the chicken. Next add one tablespoon distilled white vinegar. And a teaspoon of sea salt. Visit JamaicaDinners.com for the recipe. There I have the recipe for add chicken.
I'm using coconut milk from the package. This is liquid coconut milk from the package. At the end of the day, you just want enough coconut milk to cover the chicken's parts in the container. I think this package here measures a cup. Do as you see me doing, add the coconut milk to the chicken's parts in the bowl with your seasonings. Use a lid, seal the bowl properly, put it aside for 30 minutes. If you're gonna, you can do this half day, but keep it in the refrigerator. All right, that's our flour. Merge your cup or two flour, all purpose flour, and put it in a container or a clean plastic bag, Ziploc, or you can use paper bag. Get your copy of Fried Chicken Cookbook. Remember, give cookbook five star and leave a comment. Links in the description. Next, put to heat medium sized saucepan. Put stove gauge on four, medium low, allow saucepan to dry out. This is our chicken. Parts has been marinated half an hour now, room temperature. This is what it looks like. You want the, the coconut milk to soak in the chicken. After a minute between two and there's no water in the saucepan, add oil, cooking oil. I use coconut oil. Full saucepan, no more than quarter between a third. That way, when you add the chicken's parts to the eating oil, that reduces the risk of it overflowing and might cause fire. Remember now, add it quarter way to a third full. Alright, so those gauges on four medium low. Allow. Once you see a little smoke, that means it's hot enough for frying. Get your flour ready. Note, it's best to add the chicken to the flour right as you're about to add it to the oil. Five, six minutes later, and you see a little smoke like this, that's what you want. Now would be a good time to flour your chicken. Remember now, you can use paper bag, a thick Ziploc, clear plastic bag, or a container with a lid. This is our chicken spar. It's been marinated in coconut milk and onion with pepper. First, take the thigh, drain it. Lift the thigh from the marinating coconut milk and drain it before you add it to the flour in the container, into the container. Next, seal the container or lock the bag and shake flour. Shake flour, shake, 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 coating chicken sparks evenly. See all that mess I'm making? At least now you know the plastic bag will burst. So it's best if you get a thick plastic bag. The oil is hot enough. Add the chicken thigh first to the eating oil. Lift the chicken thigh from the flour and shake it, removing excess flour. Then add it to the eating oil. While adding it to the eating oil, watch the oil for overflow. Next, add the chicken's the floured chicken's leg. Remember, shake it removes excess flour. Alright, hello. I'm making a mess. 
yes, this is the flour that I got clean it right away as it's gonna start sticking to the stove and then it's gonna be difficult to clean. So excuse me if faith made this part of the video. This is the chicken frying on the first side. Allow, allow, do not flip it every time. Just allow it to fry. After six minutes, this is what it looks like. Now would be a good time to flip the chicken. User, cooking fork. Try not to poke or joke the chicken too much. You don't want the flavor of the chicken to, to escape that much. So flip the chicken on the other side. Do the same with the chicken's leg and allow. Remember, do not poke or juke the chicken with the fork. Shout out to that person that remind me, juking the chicken releases the flavor. That is such a good tip. 12 minutes later, I'll get a bowl, a clean bowl, add a thick paper towel in it. Twelve minutes fry perfect chicken. Sometimes I tend to go over to 14, but you know what? 12 minutes fry perfect chicken. You just want it to be juicy and and nice. If it goes up to the 40 minutes, it's gonna be a little bit drier. Now that it can, it's still good enough, but it's it's best at 12 minutes. So do you see me doing? Use the cooking fork and juke the corner of the chicken's thigh. Hold it over the heating oil and drain chicken. Do the same for the chicken's leg. Then it's best if you lay, you cook to fry the chicken on a paper towel in a basket. This is coconut fried chicken. Visit JamaicaDinners.com for the recipe. Subscribe, like, share. You should try cooking this fry the chicken yourself and give us feedback when you do I'm just gonna share with you what happened this tutorial that you're looking at was supposed to be yesterday's work I went to the supermarket bought all this food came back ready to start cooking and guess what public service um, our light company was changing wire from from one end of the road to the other I was like, oh goodness, I, I know light is gone. So once I got into place, light was gone. It was around 11 o'clock. I said, okay, let me wait and watch and see if the light will come back. I stayed and waited until 3. And then I just gave up. I said, you know what, I'm just going to cook the dinner for dinner and don't worry about videoing it. So I, that's what I did. And the light came back 6 o'clock in the evening. So it was really a lost day that rarely happens to me most of my plans always pull through I might have a little challenge but I always pull through always all right so you see how juicy and and delicious this chicken looks this is the 12 minutes I was telling you about it's still cooked if I break this bone right now and show it to you it will be cooked the coconut makes the chicken kind of give it that as if I, I use I'm using coconut and it kind of have that soft texture soft crunchy texture to it as well it's unique it's different I don't know if anybody have tried it this way before but there you go I have a book that's out or coming out called Fried Chicken. You should go get that book. It's a good book. This recipe is my favorite recipe. This coconut fried chicken is my favorite out of all of the fried chicken recipe. That's gonna be in the book. I like them all, but this one is my favorite. 
All right. Until next time. Bye. Yeah, man.